preseason is over. The Dolphins came to Minnesota and trashed the Vikings, second, third, and fourth string and second string gophers. Uh, so the preseason is over. For all, pretty much all the Vikings on that team can might as well get cut because they're pretty much all trash except for my boy J. Little Johnson. But now, what we came here for? Hey, the Vikings trade for a new cornerback. Tremaine Brock is now a Viking, and you know a lot of you. I'm assuming you're all kind of like me. You're like, who, 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 who? So, Tremaine Brock, a longtime 49ers. If you're a Minnesota Gopher fan, he was on the Gophers in 0809. So, um, he's from. He has familiarity with Minnesota, and now he's coming in. And how good is he? So, I had to look that up. And where I look up how good a player is, well, no other than my boy, the most trustful source on the world for looking up football players, Madden NFL 18. Um, he's an 82 overall on Madden, so that means he should be pretty good. What does, what does this really mean for the Vikings and our depth at cornerback? Well, Price, like I said in my mini little game review, was trash. So bad against third string wide receivers that I think he got pretty much cut immediately. He was so awful. Uh, Marcus Sherrills is not a cornerback despite that being his roster de designation, his designated spot. Uh, so, and I think what this really says is that the Vikings no way trust Trey Waynes because he looks so bad in week three of the preseason that there's no way they want to trust him. Terrence Newman, uh, I think, can still get it done, but he's definitely old. You want to spell the man every now and again. He's like 40 years old, man. Give the man a break. So I think Brock is here to compete for that number two spot, and at the very least, number four. And this is really going to slide Trey Waynes down to number five. I don't think Trey Waynes is going to play a whole lot at all unless of injury with either Xavier or Terrence Newman. Unless they want to uh, slide Terrence Newman into the slot and let Brock be the number two cornerback because uh, Mackenzie Alexander has looked amazing as well. I thought he looked a lot better than Price in the fourth preseason game. But do we want him to start? Because if you're the number three cornerback, you're pretty much a starter in the NFL right now. The nickel formation is probably the most popular one out there with how much people pass and now it is. So you're going to be on the field for two-thirds of the defensive snaps. You better be ready. And he did not look ready week four. So this is about our young corners not looking ready to play. I believe it's both it's both of their uh, third year, I believe. It might be Mackenzie Alexander's second. I think it was a rookie last year. Uh, but we need to make them like him. Uh, they need to look better, and they do not look better. So Slick Rick, this little seventh round draft pick down the Seahawks way, and gave us a guy that could be a starter. I think it's a good trade for our boy Slick Rick, uh, Rick Spielman. Uh, it gives us really good depth for just a seventh round pick. Uh, he probably would have got cut anyways. It's usually what it means when you, when you trade for such a, with such low value. So it's a probably win win either way. The Seahawks had something for a guy they were gonna cut. I don't know why they would cut him. Uh, of course, going back to Madden, he was our number two ranked corner, of course, behind Richard Sherman. So, I think that means he has talent. I, I know with Madden, it's kind of a joke, uh, but uh, it's kind of what I judge it off of, and I think it's a good uh, baseline thing to look at. And you're looking at a guy that has uh, the capabilities of being a starter. Uh, I, I did actually some okay, decent research in the field, uh, pro football focus, and I think he was the Vikings' number three cornerback out there with their uh, football rating, of course, that was based off last year, but Xavier and Terrence Newman had very good years last year, and he wasn't too far behind them, so I think that says a lot. Look for him to be at least the second backup off the bench. It probably depends how comfortable Zimmer is with him in the scheme, so he might, it might uh, take him a week or two to get really into our defense, so maybe for uh, the first two weeks or so, it's more uh, split between Trey Waynes and Terrence Newman for the number two spot, but look for close uh, a lot sooner than later, uh, Brock to be the guy be behind either Newman or alongside Xavier Rhodes in the starting defense. So I think good pickup overall. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to rant about the how awful our backups looked in the fourth preseason game, uh, have fun with that too. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next Vikings video.